Welcome to Happy Healthy Living with Yvonne Douglas. I'm Doug and today we're gonna make a really delicious dish. It's chicken cutlets with some linguine and a buttery lemony sauce, so stay tuned. Well, welcome back. So let's talk about the ingredients that we're going to need to make this delicious dish. Now, let me tell you a little story first. So I actually made this the other day and I just kind of whipped it up and it turned out to be so, so good. And I posted a picture on Facebook and a lot of people were asking me for the recipe. And so I thought I would do this video because it is super easy to do and it's super, super yummy. You have to try this out. All right, so what are you gonna need? You're gonna need some canola oil, extra virgin olive oil, linguine noodles, um, this is boneless, skinless chicken breast. Uh, these are really thick. So what I do is I cut this in half and I use my meat mallet to make it a little bit thinner. It's almost like a schnitzel, but I don't make it as thin as what a schnitzel should be. So it's a little bit thicker. And um, basically this makes four. So if you're a family of four, you probably want to buy two of these packages. You're going to need approximately three to four tablespoons of butter, depending how buttery you want it. At first I started making it with two tablespoons and I decided oh, I need another tablespoon in there. But probably three to four tablespoons of butter should, should suffice. And you definitely need a lemon, a nice mm, fresh lemon. I just love lemon. And then what I use to season my chicken, definitely salt and pepper, and I always put onion powder, garlic powder, and this is super important, guys. This is a Zeged sweet Hungarian paprika. I always mention this uh, paprika in my videos. Some people say paprika, I say paprika. And um, this is so good. It really makes a difference. If you buy just regular paprika, let's say at Target, you're gonna taste the difference between that one and this one. This is so good. If you're in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, you can purchase this at Central Market, Market Street, uh, but you could also get it on Amazon too. Highly recommend this Zeged Hungarian sweet paprika. Um, you're gonna need some basil, uh, not basil, sorry. You're gonna need some parsley, <laughs> curly parsley. This is just curly parsley. This is just for a little topping at the end. Um, and you're also, super, super important, uh, Parmesan cheese. Buy some fresh Parmesan cheese. You can use the Parmesan cheese in the bag, but I highly suggest you get some fresh, really good Parmesan cheese. This is the Belgioso brand. All right, and of course the grater for the cheese. You're gonna need two large eggs, and you're also going to need Progresso Panko breadcrumbs. My gosh, Panko, Panko, Panko. You have to use this. Why? Because it makes it so much crispier than just regular breadcrumbs. And it's so good. You're just gonna love this. So I highly recommend panko crispy breadcrumbs. You're also gonna need some flour. And I believe that is it. All right, so let's get cooking. Okay, so welcome back. So we're going to start with our chicken now. I also have the water on for my linguine noodles, so that needs to boil. And how to make those linguine noodles? Well, basically just um, follow the instructions on the uh, box. All right, so we have our chicken cutlets here. Like, look how thick these are. These are really thick chicken cutlets. So I'm going to, uh, there's not much fat on here, which is great, so I'm going to start cutting this in half. So I have a really sharp knife. And what you want to do is just lay your hand on top and find the middle and just start slicing through. Be very careful. Go slowly. And then you get two nice size uh, chicken cutlets. All right, so I'm gonna do this, the second one here. And it really is important to have a very sharp knife. It makes it so much easier, okay? 
All right, so let me put my chicken here. I'm gonna wash my hands really quick. Of course I, uh, of course I washed my hands before I started, but it's always important to always wash your hands while you're cooking. I, I constantly wash my hands. All right, so now I want to make my chicken cutlets a little bit thinner. So I'm gonna get some uh, cling wrap. And I'm just gonna lay it on top of my chicken. Uh, this is a meat mallet. Yeah, I don't know what a meat mallet is. And I'm just gonna bang it a little bit. All right, so let's take a look. That is good. This one is really good. You can see the thickness. Hopefully you can see that. The thickness of that chicken cutlet. Um, that is a great thickness. So like I said, it's a little bit, it's not as thin as a schnitzel, but it's on the thinner side. So now I want to season my chicken cutlets. So what I start out by doing is, let me trim this fat off first. I always season uh, both sides with salt and pepper. I do use some freshly ground black pepper. Okay, so since I have salt and pepper on it now, now I'm gonna do the garlic and onion powder. I generously coat both sides with garlic and onion powder. Like I said, I, live, I gen generously coat both sides with onion powder, garlic powder, and the Hungarian paprika. All right, so these are all done. Now I'm gonna put them in some flour, egg, and then the panko breadcrumbs, so stay tuned. Okay, so I have my two eggs in here. I'm just gonna beat it with a fork, mix it up. Here's my chicken. And we're gonna first put it in the flour. We wanna make sure it's nicely coated with the flour. But you do want to shake off any excess flour. Then you're going to place it in the egg. and then the panko breadcrumbs. I basically just use my fingers. You can try to use a fork, but just use your hands. Just make sure that they're clean. So you get a nice crispy one. We are gonna add something to the top of these, by the way. Uh, I'm gonna actually use some uh, lemon zest and sprinkle it on top when we start cooking it. So I'm gonna continue making my chicken cutlets and then we'll start cooking them. Okay, so my water's boiling and I'm going to add probably about half a box of the linguine noodles. I'm not gonna make all of it. And it's really important to use a large pot. So, um, so those so those cook really well. This is also a pasta a spoon. I love this spoon. This is just kind of separates the pasta, and um, it's really helpful. So, if you don't have a pasta spoon, you might want to get one. It looks like this. And this says to cook for, I think, 10 minutes, right? Yep, 10 minutes. So we're gonna let that cook for 10 minutes. Now let's start making our chicken cutlets. Okay, so what I'm doing first is I'm wor warming up the pan. I'm just warming it up a little bit before I add my canola oil. And I'm probably using about, you definitely wanna cover the bottom of the pan with the canola oil. This is where the, um, 
chicken cutlets, they're going to kind of cook in this uh, uh, canola oil. Right, so we're gonna let that uh, warm up a little bit and then we're gonna add our chicken cutlets. Okay, so we're gonna add our chicken cutlets. See, starts to sizzle just a little bit. I might have to do this and make this one later. I can fit three into this pan right here. I'm gonna put up this flame to about a medium heat. And we're gonna cook this probably for around five minutes or so on both sides. Now, I am going to add right now some lemon zest to the top of these chicken cutlets. I love this zester, by the way. So I'm just gonna add a little lemon on top. And that's gonna cook inside there. Yum. Now, while all that is cooking over there, I'm getting my cheese, my Parmesan cheese, and I'm going to grate it using my grater here. How much cheese do you need? Well, I'm going to be using probably about close to a half a cup. That's going to be for the linguine. So I'm just going to continue grating my cheese. Stay tuned. And while your chicken is cooking, you want to continue stir, stirring your linguine noodles. Make sure you stir it every once in a while. This has probably another couple of minutes to go. Okay, it's been about five minutes. I'm going to check my chicken. Yep, looks ready to turn. Ah, oh, that's perfect. Look at that color. Wow. It's also important to have the correct tools like tongs. Super important. Makes it a lot easier. Look at that color though. Isn't that awesome? Now I'm going to let that cook for another five minutes on that side. And... I'm gonna add more lemon zest. My noodles are done. And I'm going to strain them and rinse them. Okay, so it's been about five minutes on the second side. And what I like to do is I usually check it. Yep, I'll flip it over again. And I'm going to lower the heat, lower the heat, and I'm going to place the lid on and just let that cook for probably another three minutes or so with the cover on. I just wanna make sure that my chicken is cooked well. Okay, so these are done, and I'm going to take them out, place them on this plate for now. And I'm gonna cook my last one. And, uh, and then we'll be back and we'll start making the sauce. Okay, so when my last uh, piece of chicken is cooking, I'm gonna get my curly parsley. And this has already been washed. And I basically wanna just chop this up real fine, real small. Always, when you cut, make sure that your fingers go inward so you don't chop your finger off. <laughs> couple of um, 
pointers. Um, when you're cutting, if you have a board and it moves around a lot, you can always use um, a dish towel and put it underneath. This board here is actually rubberized at the bottom so it doesn't move around as much. In fact, it doesn't move around at all, which is awesome. So if you can purchase a cutting board that has a rubberized bottom, you might wanna look into that. Um, otherwise, just use a dish towel and put it underneath. All right, that is done. I got my cheese grated, I got my parsley. Now I just gotta cut my lemon. So my, um, my last chicken cutlet is totally done. And what I have now in here are the drippings. And I'm gonna leave the drippings in there. And I'm gonna kinda coat the bottom, add probably two, three tablespoons, probably two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. And you just want to heat that up a little bit. I'm also going to get my butter. This is four tablespoons. You can use three tablespoons. I want mine to be a little extra buttery this time. That's Simon. He's hungry. He smells the food. He's starting to bark. He's saying, Daddy, I want some of that yumminess. <laughs> So basically you just melt this butter. That's gonna be your butter sauce. We're also gonna add some lemon to that too. All right, so you can see I'm melting my, I'm melting my butter here. I'm gonna just stir the extra virgin olive oil with the drippings from the chicken. That butter's gonna melt. It's on a very low flame. Now I'm gonna add my lemon juice. This is lemon juice from one whole lemon. Give that a nice stir. Mmm, yum. Now I'm gonna get my pasta. Gonna add my pasta noodles, my linguine noodles to that. So here's my linguine noodles. I'm just gonna toss it in that sauce, that buttery lemony sauce. Nicely coated. Mmm, yum. And then you definitely want to season it. We're going to just season it with some um, salt and pepper. Get my salt. And then some pepper. To taste really depends on how much you like. Give it another toss. Mm. Yeah, my mouth is watering already. I don't know about yours. And then we're gonna add our Parmesan cheese. Remember this is about a half a cup of Parmesan cheese that has been freshly grated. Give that a nice stir. Oh. Now we're talking. Yeah. Mmm. Gonna heat that up just a little bit. Let that cheese melt into that pasta. Uh, you do want to reserve a little extra cheese for the topping, which I'll show you in just a second. And now I'm getting the parsley. to that pasta yum mm, so good okay so now we're going to plate it so I have my pasta and my chicken cutlet 
I'm going to just add a little bit more Parmesan on top of the chicken, on top of the uh, linguine noodles. I'm going to add a little bit more parsley like that, make it look pretty. And then, of course, we got to have our lemon wedge. And look at that. Oh my gosh, this is a perfect meal, easy to make, super delicious. Let's have a taste test. Okay, and now for our taste test. I'm gonna add just a little bit of lemon here. Mm, the chicken is so tender. Mm. Chicken is perfect. pasta. So good. Oh my gosh, what an awesome mm. Mm. What an awesome dish. Guys, you have to try it. It's super easy. I know you're going to love it. Thank you so much for joining us on Happy Healthy Living with Yvonne Douglas today. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe and give this video a like. I would greatly appreciate it. And we would love for you to join the Happy Healthy Living family. So until next time, my friends, happy healthy living. Bye-bye. I'm going back to my food. Mm -mm -mm. Yum. Mm. So good.